Hey, what's up everybody? So this is going to be another one of those lunchtime videos. And uh, this is this is something that I didn't think I would ever do, that I would ever say. Um, after many, many years with T-Mobile, over 10 years of being with T-Mobile through the bad times and the good times, it's time for that relationship to come to an end. And I didn't think it would ever happen, but as the title from this video has already told you, I am leaving T-Mobile and I am going to join up with Xfinity Mobile from Comcast. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, I never thought that I would even want to give Comcast any more money. You know, if there's anybody looking at this that is uh, international, doesn't live in the United States, Comcast is pretty much uh, the telecommunications giant here in the United States. They got their fingers in everything, television, phones internet it's gotten to the point where they pretty much hold basically monopolies in many areas you know technically you know like you can get AT&T in an area and Comcast is also serviced there but Comcast will be the only company that actually gives you something that you know modern in any way and their customer service is absolute garbage so if you have had Comcast at any point in time chances are you've dealt with them they've made you angry Comcast is a company that most people here just don't like but you kind of have to deal with them because the alternatives out there are lacking in a huge way. So not too long ago, um, I think like in 2017, Comcast started up their own uh, mobile network uh, and it's called Xfinity Mobile. Now, they didn't go out and build up towers to compete with T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon and Sprint. Uh, instead, they're a mobile virtual network operator. That's a MVNO. And it basically means that they're going to piggyback off of another car carrier's towers um, in exchange for uh, starting up their own service. In this case, that company is Verizon. So when you get Xfinity Mobile, you're going to be using Verizon's towers alongside Comcast's huge amount of, uh, of mobile hotspots. Uh, network hotspots they have all around everywhere because Comcast is everywhere so chances are people who have Comcast modems and routers or like the combo of the modem and the router they're putting out an Xfinity Wi-Fi signal whether they know it or not and that's one of the things that you know uh, Xfinity mobile customers are going to be bouncing back and forth onto as they're going about the business so basically if you're around one of those you'll connect to one of those if not you'll be using Verizon's network and you know, Verizon's network as far as depth goes is pretty much the best in the United States right now. So why in the heck did I decide to move from T-Mobile to uh, to Xfinity Mobile after all these years? Uh, and basically what it really comes down to is price. You know, as much as I dislike Comcast, there is no fight in that price that they're offering for Xfinity Mobile. You know, uh, their plan they got two and they're really simple I gotta give them credit for that it's a very simple plan that they offer one is a, a pay as you go kinda like a pay by the gig plan and it starts at 12 bucks so if you're not going to be using a lot of data and you know that you're not going to be using a lot of data then it's only going to be twelve dollars for you every month to uh, to use data and if you use more and check my watch real quick if you use more than uh, a gig of data every month you'll just pay for the next gig that you get the other plan which is the one that I uh, opted for is the unlimited plan and that's forty five dollars a month and that unlimited plan you know it includes your voice and your text of course it kinda has to these days but that also includes unlimited data um, and just like every other carrier that offers unlimited service there's a little asterisk next to that that's like hey well you get unlimited data but if you go over twenty gigabytes in a month then we're going to slow your 4G LTE speeds down until your next billing cycle. Now, that's typical. T-Mobile does that too. But it's 45 bucks. And the plan that I am with with T-Mobile, um, I'm not on their T-Mobile One plan or anything. Uh, I'm, I was using their simple, their simple choice. I don't even know if they still offer simple choice. Uh, but basically, it was 50 bucks. That was like the base plan. And I think they gave you just a few gigs of data to deal with every month. And then if you want to have unlimited data, it was an additional $20 on top of that. So we're talking about $70 a month before taxes, before anything else. That's just the base plan. Their unlimited plan that I have, 70 bucks a month. 
Xfinity Mobile will give me the exact same thing for $45 a month. And then you got to look at the phones. Now, right now, I'm using and I'm recording on the Galaxy S7 Edge. This phone, you know, I've had it for a couple years. It's time to upgrade. I decided to get the Galaxy S9 Plus. You can get it from T-Mobile and you can get it from Xfinity Mobile. And they both are on the equipment installation plans. So basically, you pay for these phones by the month. Uh, I think at T-Mobile, it's um, things like either 30 or 35 bucks a month uh, for that. Uh, including uh, a down payment but at Xfinity Mobile there wasn't a down payment and it's 30 bucks a month so when you take that $45 a month for the plan plus 30 bucks a month for the phone at the end of the day we're looking at a little over $80 a month for service with a great phone I was paying for T-Mobile, I was paying $130. Now, granted, I was on the original jump plan, and a, the original jump plan had a, um, had a, uh, like a protection plan included with the phone, so that was an additional $12. So if we take away the $12 from the $130, then, you know, we'll, we're still looking at, you know, like $118 a month, as opposed to the $83, $84 a month with Xfinity Mobile. It was a deal that I just could not pass up. So I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be giving it a shot. Um, at least the good news is if, you know, I ever change my mind about it, you know, I think you got like 30 days or so to uh, say, you know what? I don't want this. Stop it. I'll get rid of it all. And uh, I think you just probably have to pay a restocking fee when you return everything back to Comcast. But I'm porting my number over from T-Mobile. And I think the Galaxy S9 Plus, it should be in my hands uh, next week. By the 14th is what it says. So, yeah, so long, T-Mobile has been real. But, you know, I'm not a rich man. And uh, I got to go with something that's going to put some money in my pocket, or at least help me save some money. And I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be expecting that to come from Comcast, Xfinity. Oh, and by the way, as a part of this promotion, this promotion, I'm also going to get a $250 um, gift card, Visa gift card. After about a few months or so of, uh, you know, being in good standing with them. So that's also a bonus. And my Galaxy S9 is paid for, or my Galaxy S7 Edge is now paid for. So I unlocked it. So, you know, I'm not going to be trading this phone in to get a little bit off the Galaxy S9 Plus or anything. Like, nope, I'm keeping this phone. Maybe use it as a backup or something. I don't know. But it's unlocked. It's mine. So I can do whatever I want with it. But this is the beginning of something brand new. I'm going to let you know how it goes. <clears throat> You know, I have uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it because, you know, when you've been with one carrier for so long and you try another one, you just wonder, uh, you know, you hope that nothing goes wrong. But no, I think it's going to be all right. So um, stay tuned for more videos about that experience. And with that, my time here is almost up. So uh, thanks for watching this video about my switch to Xfinity Mobile. And uh, if you're interested in Xfinity Mobile, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll talk about it. All right. See you later.